if something like this happened in Arkansas on a bridge there, let's just say I think there'd be a lot of very wet criminals that have been tossed overboard, not by law enforcement, but by the people whose uh, road they're blocking. If they glued their hands to a car or a, the pavement, well, probably pretty painful to have their skin ripped off. But I think that's what, the way we'd handle in Arkansas. And I would encourage most people anywhere that get stuck behind criminals like this uh, who are trying to block traffic to take matters in their own hands. So look, you might well have already heard Senator Tom Cotton's uh, comments going around right there. And you might have seen headlines about how this is like Islamophobic or it's you know like he doesn't care about what's happening in Gaza and all that. And all of that is true. It is horrific what he said for those reasons. But also, I understand we have like the first amendment and everything. Can you tell people to attempt to murder other people live on TV as a senator? Open question, I honestly don't know. I'm not a constitutional scholar or whatever, I'm just a guy who talks on YouTube. But can a senator go on TV and tell people the next time you're in X situation, murder the person? I don't think you can actually do that technically. We'll see in effect whether he's able to do that. But he said you should you should dunk them in the water. That means Throw them off the bridge because what he's talking about right there is the Golden Gate Bridge being shut down by 38 pro-Palestinian protesters. They're described there as pro-Palestinian protesters. I don't like the language of pro or anti a place or a country. What they want is for Palestinians to not be mass murdered. I will say that, I think that's a more descriptive thing. They don't want Gaza to continue to be destroyed and the people who live there to continue to be utterly annihilated. But regardless, they should have been thrown into the bay. That is what Senator Tom Cotton says. He's not gonna do it, he's not saying that he's gonna murder someone. He's saying where I'm from, they would have been murdered. And he didn't even do the thing that you know, like Meghan McCain will do or whatever when she says blank, blankety blank means we're gonna have civil war and that'll be terrible. No, I don't want that. He doesn't say that, he doesn't say it would be wrong. That's what they do, but it would be wrong to drown them. It would be wrong to rip their skin off. No, he is for it. He wants you to do that. The next time that you are inconvenienced when making your commute, you should torture, assault, and murder those who have blocked your path. Now, a follow question for Senator Tom Cotton. Is it only for protesters who are protesting over the situation in Gaza? Um, you know, what about like when a whole bunch of people uh, are in the streets outside of like Mar-a-Lago or whatever, and they're like, they've got their Trump flags, you know, and they're waving at this time. They're not beating cops to death with them, admittedly. Um, if I'm inconvenienced by that, should I murder them? Should I rip their skin? I just want to know for sure, since I'm being told by a senator in one of the greatest deliberative bodies in human history to assault and murder people, which people should I assault and murder? Now, look, obviously, I'm being flippant. Obviously, I'm being a little bit sarcastic, but it is a serious question. Is he not going to be censured for advocating for murder of people exercising their First Amendment rights? I would love to know. And I understand what some of you might be saying. Reasonable people might say, okay, I support. I want a ceasefire. I don't want the con I don't want more people to die in Gaza, but it's really annoying when people block a bridge. And I understand that. It probably is very annoying. I I grant you that. They would say I imagine that's the entire point, you know, protests that are so convenient that you don't even notice that they're happening are kind of pointless. But regardless, at what level does inconvenience justify murder, torture and assault? And I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you, dear viewer or commenter. I'm asking Senator Top Cotton, who's advocating for the murder of his political opponents. And again, is this a standard that we want to set? You know, the next time there's an anti mask protest, you know, or an anti vax gathering, or when people gather in Dallas talking about like, I don't know, JFK Jr. or something, should people kill them if their protest inconveniences us? And if they do, can they point to Senator Tom Cotton? Is Tom Cotton by any chance a lawyer? Can they say that this is advice of counsel? That they're assaulting, torturing, and murdering people? I'm not sure. I have many questions, and I would love to hear the next time he's on, you know, not on Fox News, will he face the tough questions that he deserves? Will he be censured, which he 100% deserves? I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna move on from Tom Cotton. We want to move to Newt Gingrich, who has slightly different thoughts about people protesting. If you are for the victory of Iran, if you want to scream uh, <clears throat> death to America, we're deporting you. 
If you're an American, we're going to try you for treason. You can't get up and say death to America as an American citizen. And it's time that we were prepared to defend the survival of the United States. And I think it's time we confronted head on a president who clearly on every single front from Ukraine where he favors Russia to what's happened in Afghanistan, where in the end he favored the Taliban, to what's happening in Gaza, where he favors Hamas, to what's happening with Iran, where he favors the Iranians. On every front, Joe Biden is on the side of the people who hate America. Just to be clear, when it comes to Ukraine, he's on the side of Russia? I think he's the one trying to arm the Ukrainians, which is a weird way to support the side you really support, which is Russia. But okay, Newt Gingrich, look, he's obviously deluded, his brain is falling apart. He's basically Rudy Giuliani at this point. Um, but again, quick follow up questions for him. Um, where would you like to deport these American citizens to? What do they think deportation actually is? It's supposed to be like theoretically, you have to go back to the place you originally were from. But when it's just like an American citizen, does it just mean banish? Do words mean anything to these people? Again, and by the way, maybe we don't deport them. Maybe we try them for treason because they said a thing. Again, the party of free speech and opposing cancel culture wants you to potentially be executed for saying a thing they don't like. And by the way, I don't say death to America. I don't I don't generally think people should say death to America. But I also don't think you should be killed by America for saying death to America. And it's pretty rich coming from this side that leading a coup to overturn the government, not treason, saying a slogan they don't like, treason. It's interesting. It's almost like words are worse than actions to these people. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.